Hello guys, this tutorial is for absolute beginners in ANSYS Workbench. In this tutorial, we will see how to perform a static structural analysis on a stool. Here we have considered two geometries. One is with foot rest and another one is without foot rest. We will apply some load over the stool and then we will give the required constraints and then we will see how the stress is distributed on the structure of this stool. If you don't have ANSYS software, you can download that for free if you are a student. Once you installed ANSYS Workbench, just open the ANSYS Workbench. You can see in the left hand side, there are different analysis systems as well as component systems. Just drag and drop the static structural analysis system from this analysis system category. I have uploaded my geometry files in my website. You can download those files from the link which is available in the description. Once you downloaded the files, right click the geometry and click import geometry and browse the location where you have kept the files and first import the geometry file without footrest. Once you have imported the geometry, double click the model and here you need to generate the mesh for the given geometry so click the mesh and give an element size of 5 millimeters then right click the mesh and click generate mesh now the mesh has been created and the next step is giving the boundary conditions based on the physics what we need so here we need to perform a structural analysis so we need to apply some load over the stool so we can apply the load over the surface and for that you have to click the surface and right click the static structural system and insert a force here enter a force of magnitude 500 newtons and you can see the direction is focusing upwards click to change direction button and here you can see the flipping option if you click that now you can see the direction is pointing downwards then click apply now we have applied that force this is the only external force that we need to give and then we should also give some other boundaries for solving that for analyzing a stool uh, we need not to have the displacement in these directions x and z only we can have the degrees of freedom in y direction alone in this surface so we can click the face selection icon and again right click the static structural and insert and give displacement here we need to arrest the motions in z and x direction and y direction is set to be free so give the y direction as free and give zero for other two directions now we have arrested the motions in x and z directions and y direction is set to be free and here the geometry is not selected so click this and select this geometry and give apply so now we have given a displacement boundary here similarly by keeping the control button pressed on select all the bottom surfaces of these legs and now right click the static structural system and insert and again give a displacement boundary since this is the bottommost position of that stool it cannot move vertically so y direction should be arrested and other two directions x and z can be free so when a load is acting over that it may slip it can move in x and z directions but it cannot move in y direction because it is resting over the floor so these are the boundaries that we need to define then right click the solution and we need solution of the deformation that tells us how the structure is deflected when the load is applied and again give inset and give stress that is equivalent 1 mesa stress so this will give you where the stress concentration is more so that we can do some design improvements in that now click the solve button now you can observe that the, that the solution is solved now go to the results and click the contours and give smooth contours and click the edges and give no wireframe so that we can have a clear picture of that now we have two solutions here one is total deformation another one is equivalent stress this deformation tells how 
the geometry or how the structure is getting deformed when such load is applied over here so when a vertical load is applied over here and when the displacement in the vertical position is arrested by the floor this legs will move in the horizontal direction so we can also see that as an animation so this is the way by which the stool is getting deformed and we can see that magnitude the maximum deformation is observed to be 0.3 millimeters which is acquired in the bottommost position of that leg and you can also see the equivalent stress the maximum stress that can be observed in this setup and with this boundary conditions is 16 mega pascals so that is acquiring at some position if you need to know the exact position of that maximum deformation you can have a maximum probe so here here you can see this is the position where the maximum stress is occurring and if you are interested in seeing the stress value in some other regions you can also use the probe you can zoom wherever you need and you can use this probe and you can click here to see the values of that that is 14.1 mega pascals that is observed here so these are the possible regions where the failure can take place so now let's keep these values in our mind that is maximum deformation is 0.3 mm and maximum stress is 16 mega pascals so now we need to repeat the same analysis with a different geometry so what can we do now is we can replace this geometry right click the geometry and give replace geometry and replace the geometry with the with footrest and right click the results and update now let's check whether the boundary conditions are properly applied in this or not double click the model and now we can see the updated geometry and see whether the forces and constraints are applied in the proper position just click the force as we have decided the force is applied in the appropriate direction and the displacement is arrested exactly what we have did earlier and also the four phases that we have selected in the previous case is similar in this case the only difference that we have is this foot rest that will be acting as a supporting structure for this so now let's see the results the maximum deformation observed in this case is 0.01 mm that is quite smaller than the previous case that is because of the support that we have added here however you can see a deformed shape maximum deformed shape but that is an exaggerated shape you can click this auto scale and change that to true scale so that it will show you the real deformation with this real values you can also see the animation of that and then coming back to the stress so we can have the stress plot also here you can see the maximum stress and the maximum stress in this case is 6.6 mega pascals that is also quite smaller than the previous case so by adding this type of structures by improving the stiffness of this shape and we are having a better results if you want to do the optimization in an exact manner you can also do a parametric analysis like what will be the optimum thickness of this leg what will be the optimum uh, size and shape of this support material and everything i think my previous tutorial on parametric analysis will be helpful for you that is suggested here i hope this tutorial is useful for you if you have any comments please feel free to drop that thank you